This is a piece of Mars. This I only give to you. I don't have one for Jamie. That's so an actual piece of Mars. That's an actual piece of Mars. So from an asteroid? So what happened was uh, the Earth gets hit by meteors, mm -hmm. right, all the time. and uh, But so do all the other planets. Sometimes some of that material from Mars gets impacted. Imagine something that big that Jamie showed before slamming into It's going to eject it from the surface of Mars. That's going to orbit in the clouds of Mars. eventually going to get outside the atmosphere of Mars if the impact is great enough, carrying some of the debris, the surface, the crust of Mars, etc. And that will then percolate throughout the solar system for tens of millions of years, perhaps, until the Earth smashes into it and it lands. In this case, it landed in Africa. That was recovered from Africa. Um, that little third of a gram <laughs> is a mm. Slice off a bigger chunk, okay? Um, and not only does that piece of Mars doesn't have any signature of life on it, and we've been to Mars, we've stuck probes into Mars, mm -hmm. we have a helicopter, freaking helicopter flying around on Mars right now. It's insane. Um, we don't see anything. Now, that doesn't mean that life didn't exist there before. It doesn't mean that if we don't fly into a lava cave, there won't be. But it, does it not say something? This is called panspermia. It's mm -hmm. something that sounds dirty, but it's no, not right. No, I know the term. Yeah. So, so we exchange material. And actually, Sir Fred Hoyle, the guy who came up with the idea for the name The Big Bang, uh, he actually believed in the steady state model. He believed that's how life was seeded on Earth. The fact is that we've been exchanging material for literally billions of years from when the Earth was, you know, just bacteria and Mars was flowing with water. We know Mars was, was rich with water. Now, the fact that we don't see any, is that proof it never had? Absolutely not. But I'm just saying it's a piece of evidence. 